are in the process of commissioning the plant. We've got through C4 commissioning, which means that each component in the whole processing plant has run with all at the required capacities. The issue now is to get the whole plant running stably for a period of 48 hours, producing at the design specification in terms of quantity and quality, and we're hoping that will be imminent. Um, we've been able to export the concentrate that we've processed and produced during the commissioning process all the way through to Gerald Metals in Kampala, which is terrific. You know, that was kind of the last link in the chain in terms of de-risking the entire project. So now it's a question of, of just methodically and carefully going through each of the steps, each of the processes, refining them, getting your recoveries up. The, the front end throughput is fine and, and, and one of the issues we actually ironically had is trying to keep the grade down in that the miners were very anxious to feed us grades that would have flooded our plant. So a, a gravity concentration plant doesn't like you to throw too much material at it, it wants just the right amount and we've been able to balance that so that's coming through very nicely and the you know, grade on the concentrate is absolutely perfect. You know, it's, it's, uh, to see it on the tables which is the final kind of stage you have this beautiful putty pink area which is the tin concentrates are very easy to set your cut points and it all comes out. I think the DRC has an enormous number of challenges aside from just the mining code, uh, you know, but any jurisdiction has its own share of challenges. Um, I was talking to somebody who was trying to put together a gold mine in Arizona and they've been trying to get permitting for a whole number of years. So, you know, e each area has its own challenges. People here are, are extraordinary. They've got a work ethic that is absolutely remarkable. They've got a hunger for, for knowledge. They want to learn more and more about what they're doing. Um, I'll give you a small example. We've got a control room operator sitting up and managing our entire plant. This guy taught himself English and he did it via the internet and he had to do it after 12 o'clock at night because otherwise the airtime was too expensive taught himself English, he arrived at our site as a translator and sort of gradually people recognize somebody who, who's um, skilled and has, has competence. He's now driving our, our entire plant. You know, there he sits with six screens in front of him managing the plant. So there's this incredible wealth of human capacity of people who, who can and will do things and will do things great. One just has to give, an, give them an opportunity and point them in the right direction and, and you can achieve extraordinary things.